need to record audio on your Chromebook, the Twisted Wave site actually works really well. Um, it allows you to record uh, just using the microphone that's built in on your device, and it allows you to then save it as an MP3 directly to your Google Drive. So it's, it works really well in a Chromebook. Um, this tool is actually just an online resource. So it's twistedwave.com forward slash online. So Twisted Wave has a lot of different products so and ways to access it. So you're just looking to make sure that you're in the online portal. Uh, there is an app for Twisted Wave on the Chromebooks. What the app does is it just points you to this website anyways. So you can download the app yourself if you want. Um, at the end of the video, I'll show you how to uh, install it yourself uh, as we've made it available for students. Um, but again, it's with it just being online, um, it's up to you whether you want to use the app or not. So when you're, when you're on the site, you don't have to sign in or create an account. That's only if you need to save your files um, after you've created them and maybe you want to go back and edit. Um, you can go ahead and create an account, um, but really for the typical user, we don't even need to sign in. So you can just hit new document and when you do, um, it brings up the actual like editing screen. Um, and to start recording, you just hit the record button. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask you for permission to use your camera and microphone. You can hit allow. If you don't want to do this every time, go ahead and hit remember. Um, and then it's going to ask me again. Oh, no, it's not asking me again. Sometimes Chrome will ask for permission. And right now it's recording me as I talk over this. So obviously this is not a recording that I would turn in somewhere. But again, you're seeing how the tool works. So I'm done recording and I hit stop. At this point, I do have some simple editing tools at my disposal that you can explore um, up here through the top, through the menus. But really what we're looking at is how to then save this as an MP3. And you're just going to send it to your Google Drive. So when you do that, it automatically chooses MP3, but there are other file extensions. But I would suggest MP3, you can title it. Um, so I'm going to leave it in parentheses just to make it easier to find in the next step. Um, but if I just you know, title it whatever I want to, I would recommend just leaving these settings alone. And when you send to Google Drive, it's going to take a little bit. It may ask you for permissions to access your Google Drive, and if you hit OK, you're good. And it looks like it didn't do anything. But if I jump over to my Google Drive and I refresh, here's my test clip sitting in my Google Drive. So it's already an MP3, and once it's in Drive, I can put it just about anywhere. So you can see it's a really easy tool to use and then it's easy to get to your mp3s once you've created them. If you want to install the app yourself on your Chromebook, all you need to do is go to the Chrome Web Store. So when you go to your app launcher, go to the Web Store. And when you do that, do go ahead and go to the redmondschools.org um, section. And it do, it's not showing there for me because I'm not signed in as a student high school students, the Twisted Wave app will be sitting down here. And you just have to click on something that you want and you can hit Add to Chrome. I know this is a different app, um, but again, this app would be sitting down there if you wanted to install it. So I hope that helps uh, in using this and uh, creating audio files on your Chromebook.